Hello everybody and welcome to Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight Episode 2. Today we're going to be taking a look at a handful of different mods which you can download right now over on the Nexus. If you do go on to enjoy any of these mods, please don't forget to give them the endorsement they deserve. The first mod we're going to be taking a look at in this episode is a weapon mod called the MK14 EBR. This mod adds a brand new standalone weapon into the Commonwealth. I don't believe this is actually added into the leveled lists and I believe the only way to retrieve this weapon is to use the console command. What's really awesome about this weapon is that it's a brand new model with brand new textures. You can definitely tell a lot of work went into making this weapon mod. By just looking at it you can see the immense detail and time that's gone into it. And another bonus about this weapon is that it's actually capable of using a bunch of different mods, which really does help keep the gameplay fresh while playing. The mod author has even gone through the effort of trying to make this balanced, by evening out the recoil and the damage to not make it a completely overpowered weapon. It's really awesome when mod authors go through the effort of doing this so it fits seamlessly throughout your playthrough. This is a beautiful looking weapon and I'm very impressed with it. The next mod we're going to be taking a look at in this episode is a clothing mod called Agent Outfit. This mod adds a very aesthetically pleasing piece of clothing to the game. To get this mod, you are required to use another mod called Armor and Weapon Keywords Community Resource, which is just a simple mod to get this one working. This mod is much more detailed than what is in the vanilla game, but it still looks like something that can fit into the world of Fallout. It looks nice and smart, but yes, fits that survivalist aspect, and the little bag on your back is definitely a nice touch. Just like the previous mod on this list, it looks like a lot of effort went into creating this, and it really does show up very nice in Fallout. This is actually the mod author's first attempt at making a mod for Fallout 4, and in my opinion, it is absolutely amazing for a first attempt. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at a nifty little mod for dog meat. Dog meat's backpack. While this mod is fairly self-explanatory, it has the ability to craft three backpacks for dog meat, which enhances ability to carry items and all three of them look pretty cool in their own little unique ways. And just like the last mod, this mod also requires the other mod called Armor and Weapons Keywords Community Resource, because that mod adds a brand new workbench to the game which you need to use to create this. Each one of the backpacks looks very cool and definitely suit the world. They all look somewhat realistic and look like you could actually put them on a dog. There's not really much to this mod, but it really does add to the immersion factor. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at another weapon mod called the Mac 11 Machine Pistol. This is another standalone weapon mod. You can use a console command to get this weapon, but there is also an optional patch to add it to the leveled lists, which is always welcome. The weapon actually looks very detailed. Just like all the other mods featured on this list, it looks like a lot of time and a lot of effort went into creating this. Although I do believe it uses sound from the vanilla game, but I can't confirm that. Another really awesome thing about this weapon mod is that it comes with a vast variety of in-game mods that you can use, ranging from a silencer to a laser. All pretty cool stuff. I'm actually quite the fan of this weapon mod and it's definitely one of the coolest I've seen on the Nexus in quite some time. But that's not really saying all that much considering Fallout 4 hasn't been out that long. But regardless, it's a very nice gun. Alright everybody, that is going to do it for the second episode of Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode, I'm going to get back into the groove of making videos, so I really hope you guys stick around. Thanks for watching everybody, and please don't forget to endorse the mods that you download. See you in the next one.